Last week, we covered 75 new features found in iOS 10. Well, this week, we're covering an additional 30 new features in iOS 10. Check it out. Now, I was so excited about this first feature that I covered it in its own standalone post, but I didn't include it in our compilation post, so I wanted to mention it here. Yes, you can now play videos inline in Safari. That means you can watch the video while reading content. You can scroll up and down the page. The video keeps playing. That is a brand new feature in iOS 10. Also, if you enjoy these videos, please click here to subscribe to our channel and leave us a thumbs up below. Now the next feature is an improved landscape mode Safari tab interface on smaller devices. So if you have an iPhone 6 Plus or 6S Plus, you already know this, you already benefit from this enhanced tab interface while in landscape mode, but us smaller iPhone users haven't been able to have this until now. So this is new for iOS 10. Now I also did a standalone video for this as well, but I wanted to highlight it since I didn't bring it out in our prior compilation video. If you tap and hold on the tab button in Safari, you can close out of all tabs in one fell swoop. Such a welcome new addition to Safari. Now you can also search your bookmarks and your reading list content right from Safari. Just swipe down to reveal the search bar, either in reading list or in your bookmarks. So we're gonna swipe down and we can just type in our search query, just like that. Now I did touch a little bit on Safari split view in our prior video, but I didn't mention that you could actually drag tabs to the left or to the right just like this to invoke split view. Now in iOS 10, you can quickly share links by long pressing on a link, and then you'll see open, open a new tab, add to reading list, copy, but now you see a new share option. You tap that share option, and guess what? You get your share sheet to easily share links. In the photos app, you can swipe up on a photo to quickly view related photos, just like this. You can also tap the details button in the upper right hand corner to view the same thing, just like that. iOS 10 promises smoother live photo playback, eliminating much of the herky jerkiness present in iOS 9. Now in our last video, I did mention briefly that lyrics are now in the music app, but I wasn't able to show you. So now I'm gonna show you lyrics in the music app. So you just open up the now playing interface and swipe up and there are the lyrics. You can hide or show them right there on the fly, just like that. Now in some cases, when editing Siri queries in iOS 10, Siri will actually provide you with a list of suggestions to choose from. So I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna edit this query by tapping on the query. And now you see, maybe you said, hmm, maybe I'll select this one here. And you can see it update right there on the fly at the top. And then the results appear right here. What if you're using a full screen iMessage app or a full screen digital touch and you receive a message? Well, this is what happens, see that? you get the message notification right there at the top. Let me show you again. So I'm gonna send myself another test message while in full screen digital touch view. And here we go. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm not sure how I missed this one in the last video, but you can use handwriting mode in messages. Just turn your device sideways to go into landscape mode while composing a message. And then you can just write on the screen. You can sign your name and it automatically moves over to intelligently give you more space to sign your entire name. And then you can utilize the arrows to move back and forth to view the entire composition like that. And once you're ready to send, just tap done. And then you'll see it in the message compose window. And then you just tap the send button. Now, ever since notification center became a thing, people have been clamoring for the ability to clear all notifications in one fell swoop. And now you can do so just 3D touch on the clear button and you can tap clear all notifications and get rid of them all instantly iOS 10 brings the ability to use spotlight search from anywhere. That includes within apps. All you need to do is just pull down just a little bit. You'll feel a little haptic feedback and then the search interface and keyboard will automatically appear when you release. Now you can still bring up the full notification center by swiping all the way down like I just did there. And you can even tap in the search box to bring up the search. But now you can just swipe down a little bit, release, and then instantly access search. Now like the Mac, iOS 10 now gets a system-wide lookup feature. So that's not just definitions from the dictionary, but now you can tap lookup and it will still give you definitions, but now you get a whole bunch of additional data like app store results, news results, suggested websites, etc. Okay, so now we're gonna talk a lot about 3D Touch. First of all, you can 3D Touch an app store app to share that application. So if I 3D Touch on Reddit, for instance, I can tap share and share that using the share sheet. You can also use 3D Touch to rename, I hate to say it, but yes, you can rename folders. I know you guys always joke on the way I say folder. It's my accent, I can't help it. But you can 3D Touch to rename folders. You can also use 3D Touch to manage app store downloads that are in progress. So 
I'm gonna open up this folder here, <laughs> set it again. 3D Touch on that application there, and you can see you can pause the download, you can also cancel the download, of course you can resume a download, etc. You can also use 3D Touch in folders to find apps that have pending notifications. So it will display all the apps inside that folder with pending notifications. Those handy spotlight search suggestions, you can also use 3D Touch on those as well. I'm gonna 3D Touch on the find my iPhone icon and you can see all of my devices. This can be a really handy shortcut. You can just search right in spotlight and then 3D Touch on that to access any of the shortcuts assigned to that particular app icon, just like that. One of the most annoying features about iOS 9 is that music would stop playing whenever you open up the camera app to take a live photo. That was super annoying, but now you can see the camera app is open, live photos is on, I took a photo, and the music is still playing. Finally, in iOS 10, the calendar app will automatically suggest events based on prior events. So when I type in here, you're gonna see suggestions, just tap the suggestion, it'll fill in the event name and also populate the time as well. In iOS 10, Spotlight can now search iCloud Drive. So if I just type the name of a file in iCloud Drive and I scroll down here, I can tap that and open it right up in iCloud Drive. Now in the prior video, I showed you how to mark up photos within the Messages app, but of course you can do the same thing within the Photos app as well. Just tap the little extensions button, tap markup, and you can start drawing on your photos. Now keep in mind that live photos will be disabled if you use markup. You can also access home app favorite scenes via control center. Just swipe all the way over to the right and you'll see all your favorite scenes listed here. Only have one. And you can also tap the little home button to go directly to the home app. Now this is one of the cooler features that I've found within iOS 10, emergency bypass for do not disturb. So all you need to do is go in, edit a contact, edit that contact's ringtone, and then you'll see emergency bypass. You can turn that on and you will still receive sound and vibration notifications even if do not disturb is on for this particular contact. Very handy. If you're looking to gain a close-up view of any object in your vicinity, you can use the accessibility magnifier found in settings, general accessibility magnifier and then use a triple tap of the home button, tap magnifier, and now you can use the magnifier to quickly zoom in to any object in front of you. Now this is technically a watchOS 3 feature, but now you can find my Apple Watch within the Find My iPhone application. Super handy feature for those of you who frequently misplace your Apple Watch or for those of you who are worried about it being stolen. If you try to run an old 32-bit app on iOS 10, you're gonna get a warning telling you that, hey, this app is outdated. Ironically though, it's the remote app, which is from Apple. But fortunately, Apple did come out with a new Apple TV remote app to replace the old remote. And here it is. You can download this from the developer website if you have a developer account. In the future, it will be released on the App Store. And this is very handy. We will have a full walkthrough of the Apple TV remote app in a future video. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that has been a look at 30 additional new features found in iOS 10. Which one is your favorite? Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a thumbs up. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.